Pick that dog up. Here, hand him to me. Hand him to me. No, you pick. He's a lot more. He will let you pick him up. Oh, wish my diddy boo. Oh, wish my diddy boo. Oh, see, he's looking at you. Sally wants his food. I know, I know the mo. I know the mo. He can't trick me. I'm untrickable. Good evening. Diddy says, "Don't hit the player. Hit the game." He's hunting. He's hunting. That's it. Be a good boy. Sit down. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. No, he's not going to be a good boy. Mm. We're just going to leave him here. <laughs> good evening. Uh, Kathy says, hello, hello. Chris said, what's up? What's up? Like, hashtag in my Martin voice. Uh, good evening, Gigi. Uh, Kathy says, doing yoga and whack uh, with the fam. Absolutely. Good, good evening, evening, Beth. Good evening, doctor. Joyce is here. Says, good evening to the best whack fam ever. Glad that you're here, Joyce. Lee is here. Says, evening, Wednesday. Joyce. You're right. Good evening, Matreya. Hi, Mookie. Uh, Jory is here. Says, good evening. I was watching the Keto Crate unboxing video and I got your notification. You're probably the Keto Box unboxing. Oh. We got to think about that little something, something add on beginning there. Our mom was like, what made you do that? I was like, I knew I had to mention it. And I was like, let me just, you know, do something different. Because I was, you know, I was going to mention it. What's so, that? Um, the little rap that I did. Around. Oh, my little rap. Richard was like, it's okay. And I was just like, <gasps> I was like, clearly you do not appreciate me as an artist, okay? Those uh, facial emotions are not. Uh, Gail said, good evening, uh, Autumn Richard and DJ. So cute. I mean, he's something, all right. I don't know if I would call it cute. Um, uh, Chris said, players are going to play and haters are going to hate. Um, Maters are going to eat pistachio ice cream. Is that a line from Cars? Uh, my sister loves the line. My name's Mater, as in Tuh Mater. I've never seen cars, but we actually say that line to each other a lot back and forth. Um, JJ's here says, good evening, guys. I wish I was off work already. I'm tired. Mm. Kimberly's here says, good evening, everyone. Hi, Melanie. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sir Shaw says, good, good evening, evening. Autumn and Richard. Um, Jare said, they should pay you more for the rap. I know, right? I'm actually trying to win a contest, so we'll see. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So, yeah, because they also give a prize for the best mention. Not oh. only do you get something for mentioning it, they give you a prize for the best oh, mention. Right. So. You shocked me with the with the rhyme skills. Joe Ray said okay. it seriously looked and sounded like a professional ad. Yeah, that was just flipping, um, you know, photos in a transition. That's all it did. And with some, with some zooms in and out, you know? You know? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah. I put some, I put some photos with it. So. Was, Jennifer know, said... The, the rap was all you. Yes, 100%. yes, it was. She Jennifer, shocked me with the... I was like... I said, here, come see what I've been wearing on for the last hour. Jennifer said, good evening, everyone from Florida. I did my 400 jump ropes today. Not only did I not do my 400 jump ropes, I didn't even do my 100 squats. So here we are yet again, left with a day where I'm going to be doing 200 squats tomorrow. And I'm going walking with my mama, so my legs is going to be hit tomorrow. Uh, Good evening, morning. Mary. Glad you're here. Yes, around 740 if you're yes. interested. I yes. Um, uh, no, no, it might be. It's warm. Chris said it's, it's a reference warm. to cars, too. Yeah, see? That's what I figured. It's so. warm. I have to go outside and test it first. Um, yeah, it might, might be cold because it's been cold. Um, uh, Genius here says, Good evening, lovebirds. Well, hi. Dana's here says, Good evening, Good wife, evening. fam. Is it Friday yet? Nah, man, it's actually hashtag whack Wednesday. That's why we're on right now. Oh so um, that's how you time the week. Uh, yes, Kathy said I did 100 plus squats today. So proud. I mean, that is something to be proud nice. of. Um, uh, Chris said must have been basking uh, in the afterglow of your successful router firmware upgrade. You right? I was feeling like if I can upgrade the firmware on my router, I can do just about anything. Let me go ahead and write this rap real quick you know like that's basically those were uh connected so right um uh, speaking of connection stuff your your stream seemed to be more stable since you did that i know right i i wanted I mean, it, it matters. i wanted it to be all like superstition and placebo effect and whatnot but i actually think it is working well, so of course i mean that's how technology works. chris said you still need to use the cam link with your dslr you know how to, you know you want to do it okay no i want to here's my problem chris because i was actually thinking thinking about oh that i need your your expertise so 
I have a Sony A5, like A5100, right? This was like a few years ago when I started my channel, I was looking for the best vlogging camera. And that one rose to the top because it has a flip screen and a lot of good cameras don't have flip screen. And I'm like, I can't live in a world where I'm talking into the lens, but I can't see what the picture looks like. So I had to get a Sony A5100. But unbeknownst to me and kind of beknownst to me a little bit, that thing overheats if it's on for longer than 15 minutes. Like there will be a little like exclamation point that's like temperature problem. And so like when we're shooting the keto crate unboxings in any video longer than 15 minutes straight, we actually have to shut down and wait for it to cool back off. And so I was like, I wonder, is that only the case when it's recording or when it's just on? Because if that's the case, I can't use that camera for my lives because they longer than 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking about that, but I really actually meant to talk to you about that. But like bottom line is I need a new camera, but that's going to come, you know, at a different time. So I was just going to say that. Um, Constance said, uh, hello, whack fam, getting on the exercise bike. Hi, Adam and Richard. Now I actually need an exercise bike because I want to start listening to my audio books more. I used to listen to them on my walks, uh -huh. but my walks are just so much more enjoyable with music. You know, I was just like, ah, I want to listen to music, but I still want to listen to my audiobooks. but there's no way I can just be sitting doing nothing while listening to audiobooks. So I was like, maybe I can just be riding on my stationary bike, you know, because that'll be giving me something to do. So you have like nervous fidgety energy when you just sit still. When I just sit still. That sounds ironic, doesn't it? No, that's hmm. actually a really, no. Because if it was my goal to sit still, uh, I could do it, but I don't want to just sit still. Okay. So comment, what are some things I could be doing while I'm listening to my audiobook? Granted, it cannot take any mental capacity at all. Like, don't be like, oh, cleaning or doing something or like, you know, crocheting. Like, I can't be f having to concentrate on anything because, like I said, my comprehension skills are not the jam. So I need to be completely focusing on the content in order to absorb so basically it. Basically, you need to not do anything while you're listening. Exactly. But... I think you just made your own... No, right? because... <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. I can mindlessly cycle on a bike while I'm doing that. Or maybe stretch or something like that. But I still need, you know, like suggestions. But I wanted to exercise bike for that very reason. So... Mm. Yes. Sylvia said, eh, la, la. I tried to skip through the perfect keto ad. Uh, but as I started to listen, I realized it was your ra you wrapping it up. I know, right? That wasn't a YouTube ad. That was that was your straight oh, yeah. me. Um, oh, yes, it was. Uh, hi, uh, Shelly says, "Hey, Whack Man, to me. Happy Wednesday, absolutely." Uh, Gail uh, said, "Oh, she's just saying hey to everybody." Jennifer said, "Hey, Chris, hey, I ordered the salted caramel today. I can't wait to get it." Yeah, it's almost time for me to like order that peanut butter chocolate mm -hmm. again. That that is my favorite, although. I want to give the chocolate toffee another try with the gelatin because You're talking about chow. Keto chow. Yes. I'm sorry. Of course. Yes, everyone. I'm talking about keto okay. chow. If you want 10% off your keto chow purchase, you can use the link in the description box below. You can. My favorites are chocolate peanut butter right now. And I really liked the chocolate toffee. I like the flavor of it, but using butter, it made it thinner than my personal preference. I like it like a milkshakey, oh. you know, hashtag team gloopy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I would like to try the uh, chocolate toffee again with, uh, you know, using the gelatin formula. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Nice. Yes. And that's, that's gelatin and water. Yes. With that is a teaspoon of gelatin bloomed in two ounces of water. And then add it to the keto chow. Okay. So, um, oh, Chris said the A5100. I think there's a fix for that. Literally tell me and it will be a lifesaver. So there you go. Um, Chris yeah. said I have the A6000 and it uh, caps out of 15 minutes too, unless you do a trick. The short version is the camera records longer than 15 minutes. The EU taxes uh, it higher. So Sony locks it down. Oh, that is so interesting. But how do I get around that? But I mean, it, it's like a hardware issue, right? Because my like camera will cut off. So, um, Matreya says, audiobooks are my reward for walking. I don't listen to them unless I'm walking. Yeah, see, I don't really feel like that's how I feel about audiobooks. Like, 
music and dancing is my reward for walking. So that's how I treat myself. I can walk, you know, and Some like stuff. to me, walking, like, yeah, like I would be walking to listen to my audiobook, but I'm dancing to get in my walking. You know, like I wouldn't be listening to my audiobook to get in my walking. I would just be too painfully aware of what I was doing. So I got I want to do something else. I so. mean, I think you only have two choices. Either mm -hmm. sitting on the couch with your eyes closed or laying on the bed with your eyes closed. I can't do that. That's not an option. I could cycle on a bike. Okay, there you go. So we'll go biking. Well, I was just, I don't know. No, no, no. Like a stationary bike. Like buy one and set it right there. Oh. Like right there. And that way I'm just moving okay. and I'm burning calories, but I don't have to think about anything. So how much are those? I think they're like 150. Like I've, nice. seen, a, I've seen a lot of people say that they get them on Amazon. So I'll send oh, that's how we get to read books. Yeah. Then that's that said, hmm, I clean, but I reckon you think too much doing that. Uh, it's like autopilot to clean. I do it so often. No, for me, it would be like, where should this go? Where should this go? Hmm, what am I going to do with this? Like it is too much thinking when I clean. So yeah, Apparently soups, so. soups on forge. Um, uh, yeah. Joe Ray said, Clean I have a bunch of stuff in my keto uh, chow cart. I uh, need to make the decision which big bag I want. Mm, that is a fun choice. Which ones are you? I would say which ones are you deciding against? But clearly we all know my taste is not good in anything. So there you go. Um, <laughs> yes. Matre no, said instead of buying a stationary is. bike, get a trainer to hook your road bike up to. Ha ha. Road bike. What is that? First of all, I have three bikes in my garage. They all are like either missing a pedal or a tire or they're all non-functional at the moment. Second of all, I really shouldn't even have them because riding bikes on the road scares the bejesus out of me. Like I just don't trust cars and I live on a fairly busy street. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, <laughs> road bike. Yeah, that helped. that's funny. Which I grew up riding bikes. I grew up riding in the street. I grew up riding. Like, I do understand when you ride a bike, it's basically you keep that thing swivel. There's ne never no. a moment where you're not looking around. I never can't do it. Moment. Mom is here. says, hello, Whack and Wark Nation. Good evening, Gigi. That's that's a funny thing to group together, Mom. But, yes, hello. She just said hello, okay. everyone, and then specifically Gigi. So. Oh, Gigi's cool. I mean, I don't know. Gigi's soup's cool. Like, mm -hmm. you know, that's not a question. It's just, like, there are so many soups cool members of the hashtag whack fam. I'm like, hmm, Gigi, 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 you know, oh you know? what's the special relationship like going, going on? on? No, not at all. None of that. Mm -hmm. Mookie said, I did the peanut butter uh, chocolate and used gelatin and almond milk, heavy whipping cream and butter. And it was delicious. See that all sounds delicious. Also, Chris, I was watching Chris and Miriam's live a couple of days ago, I think. And they talked about how to jazz up the vanilla keto chow. Cause see, I'm not really a vanilla anything, you know, like to me, vanilla is a canvas for other things. And they talked about putting like a scoop of peanut butter powder in it. And I was like, that's why I have this huge jar of peanut butter powder. Now I can finally do something with it. So I think that I might just put some, like turn it into a peanut I mean, butter keto chow. Say, you know, that would be amazing. Butter, um, you know, if you, Add peanut butter to vanilla, it'll make it less peanut butter. Well, but I'm talking about, but but it'll make the vanilla more peanut buttery. I'm choosing to focus on okay, the half full okay, part okay. of that. I just yeah. want you not to be like, this does not taste peanut butter. Oh, no. Vanilla. Plus, when you have peanut butter powder or peanut okay. like powder, it's okay. it's not going to be the same. Yeah, I love vanilla. Yes. You, on the other hand. I'm no, I mean, I don't dislike vanilla. I just, vanilla on its own is just like just boring nice. to me. Yeah. No, I mean, I'll eat it. Look, if there's vanilla ice cream or nothing, mm -hmm. I will love that vanilla ice okay, cream. But okay. if there's like vanilla ice cream and, and then there's like chocolate else. chips and chopped nuts gotcha. and sprinkles, You're like those are cool. always going to go on that. Okay. I will just, never, just yeah, I will never yeah. opt for just vanilla when no, other things are the just, options. No, like, Rebecca like said, nice Autumn, did vanilla. you know that there's going to be a season two of Julie and the Phantoms? I did not know that, but I could have reckoned because that was an amazing show and Kenny Ortega is a boss okay so thank you for letting me know that officially let me know when a trailer drops because i'm all over them oh my gosh. um constant said salted caramel makes a great cheesecake and custard i like cheesecake that that i don't like custard um it was the, okay, the musical show i was watching yeah I that i was remember. enthralled in in like a day i finished that whole <laughs> yes, thing you did. so um yeah so i really really love really that did. that was really good the moments I saw. Kathy said, I have a strawberry waiting for me after yoga with gelatin, coconut cream, and butter. Oh, like mousse. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Yes. 
Um, a hey, strawberry waiting for you. I'm like, yes. Aw, oh, singular strawberry. That's strawberry. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Chris said, I may have 40 pounds of high fat peanut flour in my pantry. Wow, that's so funny. A 25 kilogram bag tour, and we couldn't use it to make chocolate peanut butter keto chocolate. That makes sense. Got to do something with it. That's going to last sense. forever. Yeah. Um, uh, Mom said, listening to Christmas music on my favorite radio station. No. No, in not Australia. true. That's I'm pretty sure that was probably a, a, a auto auto oh, type. Okay, yeah. I was so. like, you went to Australia. Oh, yes. Um, Gigi cool. said I'm having a raspberry cheesecake one that I made with butter. I really like it. That is still wow. definitely one in his group that he's going to try. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Rebecca said Kenny Ortega did a lot of movies. Why? Yes, yes, he did. Most famously, oh High God. School Musical. Okay. Which oh is honestly not most famously. It's actually Dirty Dancing. That's where he got all his money from. But, uh, well, and high school. I mean, like, who who deserves Dirty Dancing and High School Musical in their lifetime? You know, oh two pop culture juggernauts mm. were the brainchild of one person. And I'm just talking about from a choreography standpoint. Okay, story, blah, blah, blah. But come on, Kenny Ortega and Descendants. You don't need that much money, Kenny Ortega. Stop oh being God. so successful. But like, I love man. I love Kenny Ortega. That's all I mean. I haven't noticed. I, I, he's a genius, yes. man. He his dancing literally speaks to my soul. No, so that's all I'm gonna really say. Good. Um, Dana said, "How is Maddie's lip from her scuffle with Milton the other day?" It's okay. It's actually the bottom of her chin. There is like a spot there. I don't know if that is just like dried blood or whatever, or like just skin discoloration, but. Her I'm demeanor and everything is fine. Oh, scab. Yeah, of course it's a scab. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, her 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 temperament yeah. and everything is just fine. She's the so, same. You know, it all forgotten about 10 minutes after they did it. Yes. Um, huh. Of course, they still do not like it. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> Joy said, Barry says, hi, he turned you on our 55-inch television. Oh, my God. That's like me watching oh, us on that television. Barry. We's famous. We're so looming large, Barry. Thank oh, yeah. you for putting it's us on. Uh, it was more like a hot air balloon yeah, sort of thing. Right. Yeah, okay. but thank you so much. Glad that you're watching us on the big time. Um, Jerry said, did you make your shirt? No. I actually got this shirt as a gift from uh, oh. Colin.Keto on, or is it Keto.Colin? Shiest. Um, on Instagram, well, way, he yeah, starts you, his Instagram stories. Excellent branding. He starts his Instagram stories every day with Keto. Yo, everybody, how are you doing? And then he goes into this little spiel. Uh, and then one day he wore the shirt that said Keto Yo. And I was like, Beep. I need that shirt immediately. And he just sent it to me. I don't know where he gets it. Um, mm-hmm. on, on like one of those Teespring type websites where a person just like prints on demand sort of thing. Nice. But no, I absolutely love it. Beth said, tonight I made beef tips and gravy. The recipe said I could make it in the Instant Pot. Well, I released the pressure after 22 minutes being done. Uh, and it squirted gravy out of the vent. Oh. <laughs> I hate that it's kind of like gravy on the wall. What? That reminds me of my Zip is disaster in Paris. That was amazing. But uh, also, How? we did get Zip is on the walls and the ceiling. I am trying, it but was there's super like a tough. cover over the vent. I'm trying to. No. Oh, wow. You got all types of stuff everywhere. Well, the good news no. is now your walls are tasty. <laughs> that is not a criteria <laughs> that you need for a wall. Constance said, yes, you guys are on my TV. Not as big as Joyce's. I have a 50 inch using my cell phone to type. So y'all must be special. Oh, that makes me feel so oh, special. Constance, we're on your television. Oh, it's so large in here. That's what she said. Um, Matreya said, yeah, Instant Pot um, has to uh, natural release if you have a lot of liquid. I, I, Apparently see, so. this is when I don't mess with the Instant Pot yeah. slash air fryer. Like, I will I will probably well, I only use like that thing as an air fryer. Like, nah. Like nah. nah. See, then there's this chances that I don't take. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm so It starts <laughs> start hitting the ceiling with it. Um, oh. Yeah, that's not coming off of all. Uh, Dana said, tell me again how you make your simple salmon fillets, frozen or thawed? Thawed. So I do buy the frozen fillets from Costco, and then I basically just take them out and set them in a bowl. Like, mm-hmm. still wrapped, I set them in a bowl of water to thaw, you know, if I cook them in the yeah. afternoon. Then I just cut them out. Plan ahead. Cut, yeah, I just 
cut them out of their little individually wrapped packages. I dry them with paper towels and then I will sprinkle, drizzle them with olive oil and then salt and pepper and then just make sides. I'm sure, mm -hmm. but all the sides are all rubbed up and then I'll just put it in a hot skillet. Oh, yeah. Like four minutes on one side, four minutes on the other side. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. That's all she wrote. Like I absolutely love it. You need to buy an actual salmon and do that. Yeah, like, like fresh like, salmon. Filet, Ooh. Cut the head with off. like some sort of compound butter. Hold on, wait a minute. No, wait. You're talking about a whole fish? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Real <bad. laughs> I thought we were talking about a fresh cut, like already like oh, filet no, fish. Like an actual salmon. No. Yeah, no, no that's off. why we have Fish monsters. We don't need that. Then you get a nice fillet knife. You go against the bone. You can feel the rib cage under it. Then you can just go. Let y'all. Who's, <laughs> who's my husband? I don't know. I don't know you guys. Best said I just had to let it finish while I was uh, scooping it up the gravy in the sink. Oh, that's so sad. Basically, I don't know. Dana said is. cast iron skillet. That's a hard no for me Take because cast iron skillet scare me. So I just use a regular old nonstick pan. So. What are you talking about? Um, what? With my salmon. Uh -oh. Kathy said we use an old-fashioned pressure cooker scary thing so I let the hubby uh, handle that. Yeah, no. Pressure cooker is way out of my, the lead out out of my league. league. No. no. Handle, the Lisa's box. here. Good evening. I'm glad I'm that you're media. here. Yeah, no. No, thank you. So, I love those. Kathy said Autumn doesn't like her food looking at her, back at her. You're right! <laughs> Well, no. I mean, it Why would we buy whole fish I'll when they clearly you. cut them up and deliver them to you and ready to make portions? Like, I'll tell you, leave the kitchen. No. Yeah. And where's he going to leave that fish head, you guys? On the counter? In the sink? Somewhere for just no, me to discover I would, it? I would, I would dispose of it mm. humane. Dana said, uh, Chef Shammy is it Shammy? Garlic butter, maybe? Uh, my BFF Chella Ooh. loves that garlic butter, mm. like, or like all the compound butters, but yeah, yes, it was say, amazing. So, um, Jerry said, Autumn doesn't like meat on the bone, so there's no way she wants to eat meat with bones, fins, and eyeballs. Come on now. Like, well, am I, I married I to y'all or am I married to him? Why does not he not know these things filet? about me? You know what you I'm not saying? See the fish bones, you like, taste it. I would fillet it off the bone before you even got to. But I knew that it was there oh, though. I, I don't want no whole oh, fish coming into my house okay, at so all. Buy it in secret. Let me know when he's gonna buy this whole fish in secret. But no, Richard, honestly. What would be the benefit of doing that versus already buying like pre-cut pieces, even if those pieces were fresh? Just the joy of doing it yourself? Like no, what I mean, would the benefit if be? If you want to get down into the minutia of it. Yes, I do. Because I literally don't understand why we would ever buy a whole fish. Well, the freshness, the second you cut it, it's fresher than if you just sit it in plastic and let See, it sit See, that's overnight. my issue. I do not have strict freshness requirements for yes. my seafood. Well, yeah, but... Yes. I know a lot of people do, and I know. It's just like see, your and, and that's one of the. You know what? And to be honest, that is one of the most annoying traits that, like, whenever we watch those like diners, drive-ins, and dives, uh -huh. and so, and they're like, "Oh, the shrimp tastes so fresh. They just got it off the boat this morning." I'm like, "You don't know what the difference is, you know?" Exactly. Then you have, <laughs> you have people like that who would say that they can't. Actually, I never know. You can taste the difference. I never if knew. If you have a plate of frozen versus somebody who just freshly caught a fish, that's no, prepared. Oh, I'll tell you this: mm -hmm. you probably wouldn't be able to tell the different difference between a fish that was butchered that day or like two days before. You know. Okay. I'm talking about like okay. frozen. Okay. Yeah, there's a difference. But I was saying that like, if you're just a stickler for fresh, that is the difference. Is Doing it yourself versus fresh cutting your steaks versus buying them free cut. Um, Chris said, hey, just a tip. Do not use the Chef Shammy garlic butter to make chocolate keto chow. It wasn't me, but somebody else. That's That can't actually be a thing. Mm. That's horrible. You had to know and smell that that's garlic well, in there. I so know. Some people might just Sylvia said, and buying a whole fish will be cheaper. That is true, but that's because you got to do all the manual labor yourself. No. As somebody who grew up doing nothing but manual labor. Kathy said, I accidentally put garlic ghee in my coffee once. Come on, you guys. Mm. No. Absolutely not. I mean, it's kind of like salt and vinegar, I guess. You got to get weird sometimes, right? Um, Dana says, so off topic a bit, but if you guys were going to have kids, would they be uh, keto, low carb? Uh, no. Uh, a, we're not having kids. Yes. Oh, man. But B, if we were... 
I would definitely take the like keto connect approach. Like I follow what they are, you know, doing for baby Theo. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I definitely recommend that, you and know, that? it's, it's just like a paleo whole food, okay. high quality ingredient yeah. diet, you okay. know, but he has some like fruits and, and things that are sweet nice. and like bananas, you know, like things like that. Yeah. I wouldn't make my kid be strictly low carb or keto. Yes. Um, I just recently watched. That's one thing I wanted to talk about today was I spent like 40 minutes catching up on videos. Mm. I watched a bunch of Keto Connect videos. I watched some Kim's Commitment videos. It you. felt good to not feel guilty about catching up on content, you know? And so um. I watched Matt and Mega's like most controversial uh, beliefs video. Mm -hmm. And the one belief that he had, or one of the beliefs that he had, which was, you know, is something that I'm starting to come to terms with myself, mm -hmm. is that keto is not the end all be all best diet for everyone, you know? Like, I, even though keto changed my life and yes. keto was the lens, which with, I started to understand how people should eat, yes, you know, exactly. but you have to understand your body. Exactly. But how people should eat can include some starches can include fruit, you know, can include some of these other things. Mm -hmm. If they're like whole real ingredients, exactly. you know? So I will never sit here and preach like keto is the only way, you know? Keto is the way that worked for me and keto happened to change my life. Uh, paleo keto. But keto if you're type. eating a diet that consists of real whole foods in, in the best quality that nice you can moderation. get it, I will never say mm -hmm. you should be lean more keto. Exactly. So that's what I would. Your body. So yeah, that's, that's what I would always like do. And you know, I don't know. I don't plan to be quote unquote keto forever, I guess. To be honest, I plan... I plan to be keto because this is how I truly love to eat, mm -hmm. you know, not because I think it's the healthiest or I think it'll cost exactly. me to be the, the lowest weight. Yeah. Like I truly just like to eat this way. Meal. But, you know, if a person was doing the keto diet simply to lose weight and it really, you know, like having to fit an image into their mind. Well, or just to just to shed pounds, mm -hmm. but their actual sustainable diet included sweet potatoes, included fruit here and there. I look, when you're done losing your weight, oh, transition to that. You know, exactly. I'm not saying you should stay keto forever. I personally, you know, keto has taught me that I don't require fruit. I don't require mm -hmm. these things. But that's not to say that after a certain point I wouldn't integrate oh, them exactly. into my uh, I am a diet. strict believer in it is not one size fits all. Like every case is specific. Your body is designed for you only. So everybody's your diet yeah. is not made for you. That does not mean everybody. You have to go with whatever finds perfect harmony inside your body and inside your mind because it's a connected. See, here's here's the thing. Chris brings up a good point. He says, mm -hmm. "I think people that haven't ruined their metabolism for forty years eating junk." A, you know, i.e. his children. So of people course. that have been grown up, you know, have been raised eating properly, yeah. properly, uh, probably don't need a strict ketogenic diet. I'm just broken at this point. This is how I will live. Exactly. See, here's the problem. I really became upset or, or you know, and the more that I look at the benefits of keto and the benefits of healthy eating, mm -hmm. it, one of the touting points is always to reverse the disease, reverse the this, reverse the this. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about the healing properties of these foods instead of wondering, well, why do we get so sick in the beginning that we need to reverse all this stuff? Yeah, you know, yeah, no one question. ever, no one, and by no one, I mean, it's becoming more popular these days, but we don't, yeah, so we exactly. haven't been taught to look that at the preventative ahead. benefits of eating healthy, you know? So yeah, keto can reverse years in, in of a lifetime of bad eating, but if you haven't spent a lifetime eating bad, you don't necessarily need it, you know? It. So That's that it. is, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Joyce said, Barry always says no one diet fits all. Exactly. That's the thing that I realized is that it truly takes eating a way that you can eat every day. You mm -hmm. know, if you can eat that way every day or to me, 90% of the time, because, you know, and I was talking to Joyce about this, you know, my whole like idea or my whole thoughts on cheating, which I have uh, cheating on your diet, which oh, I have okay. a whole video about this that I've, I've kind of shot already, but maybe I need to like edit and actually post is like, think of it this way, you know, 
I think that it is normal and I don't, I don't want to say healthy because once again, not a doctor, not a healthcare professional, also not encouraging you to cheat. If you are like, have a, you know, if you have an addictive food mentality and it causes you to go off the rails, exactly. that's if not what I'm saying. Anxiety. Yeah. You know, and if it causes like a, a, like a bad behavior, you know, <laughs> but my whole thing is I re- I just kind of made up the 90, 10 rule. I was like, you know, for 2020, I want to be keto for 90% of the time mm-hmm. and, and not keto for 10% of the time. And then when I realized that like that's 36 whole days, like uh, in a year, I was like, wow, I can definitely do that. You know, like people, and especially people that aren't on keto, they always be like, I jock in your plate. Like, Oh, that's not keto. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I thought you didn't eat. You know, like, First of all, back your eyes up away from what I'm eating, you know, Who are these people? but they're just like, they're <laughs> judgers. There, there are people that when you tell them you're keto, you all they're doing is members. looking, trying to like watch you, catch you slipping up, you know? And so, but my thought is the 90, 10 rule. Okay. Mm-hmm. Think about living in your house. You know, you live in your house every day. It is your house. If you were to take a week vacation, the point could not be made that like, oh, I guess you don't live in your house anymore, you know, because you spent seven days away from it. You know, yeah. that is not like, oh, I guess you live at that hotel. Like, no, it is a temporary change from my everyday life. Mm-hmm. And at the end of that temporary change, I will go back to my house, you know. So think of your diet that way. Even if you go for a day at a time or a week at a time for not like not eating keto. Mm-hmm. The the argument cannot be made that you're not keto because you don't eat keto every single day of your life. Like we're yeah. allowed and supposed, in my opinion, to take breaks, you know, yeah. granted, if you stay at that Airbnb for three months, the that argument becomes stronger. Like, oh, do three you still months. live at your house anymore? If you've been here for three months, I mean, that's a vacation. Though. No, that is that's not. That is a leave of absence. That's you know what I'm saying? Vacation. So to me, it's all about the, the length of time with which you do these things. Mm-hmm. But there is no harm or there's no like illegitimizing your keto journey because you don't eat that way every single day of your entire life. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how I feel. Also, another that's another point that um, Matt brought up in his video was that like eating 100% strict keto forever is the healthiest thing you can do. That He didn't believe that. He was like, you know, your body from the very beginning of time is glucose dependent. You know, like when you're born, just the way the standard American diet is, your body only knows how to run on glucose. Well, then when you start to eat keto and your body becomes fat adapted, uh, you know, if that's all you feed it for years and years at a time, it's not going to have the tools to like, process the glucose that might get introduced to your well, diet like in the future the engine you have so, to wait a second <laughs> so so the there are benefits to to keeping your body's ability to do both you know so it's like yeah just because you eat you know fat adapted 90 percent of the time doesn't mean that there aren't still benefits to knowing how to use glucose that's introduced into your system mm-hmm. so that is, you know, that's my thoughts on cheating on your diet and, and keto not being the thing that you eat 100% of the time. Yeah. So, you know. I like said mental health is a big part of that as well. Yes. Beth said, yes. I wish I never told anyone I was doing keto. Always asking what I'm eating. Oh, you got a sausage biscuit? Um, uh, No, they kept the damn biscuit. Get out of my hands. You're right. Exactly. Yeah, so I thought you couldn't have that. I thought you couldn't have that. Oh, you know. You know. Must hang out with the same so, people. but that's what I'm saying. People do it all the See, time. I'm way too short for that. That's how I realize. So I look at. I'm like, like, how about you put out them four donuts? Yeah, See, people don't heart attack. Stuff. People don't say stuff like that to me. Yes. Yeah, so unless you unless you come at me, if you come at me with blades and, and sharpened objects, yeah, they gonna bounce right back and, and hit you back in the face. You know what I'm saying? If they come at me with love and hearts. And you get that back too. But I'm definitely the type of person who's like, I'll look at you. Like, Excuse well, at this point, I just don't, you know, honestly, I can say I haven't had anyone comment on my diet in a really long time because, you know, it's easy, or I don't want to say it's easy, but when you first start mm-hmm. keto and when you first make such a drastic change, there is like a period of declaration yeah. when you're like, I don't eat this anymore. I don't want it. Don't give yeah, it to me. Exactly. You know, we're in. And part of it is making it known to other people, yeah. but part of it's just affirming it to yourself. Like, you you know, I don't eat this stuff anymore. Exactly. Whereas, you know, as you go through the diet and it truly becomes part of your life, you, you do it a lot less or like a lot more silently. So it's not, like, so when you're going through, you know, the, the Thanksgiving line, you just skip the stuffing, you just skip the macaroni 
you don't make this production of like, I'm only eating oh, meats yeah. and things like oh, that. Yeah. It's just what you do. And so no one really pays attention to you anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. So that is really where I, so I haven't had any like food haters in a long time, but oh, at the beginning, it was just always, I can never give up my bread. I can never give up my fruit. You can have that on keto. I thought you were eating keto today. I mean, girl, bye. You know, that's yeah. all I'm saying. Nah, so. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> Constance talking to Miriam. Hi, Miriam yeah, said, I'm well glad this life kept me occupied while exercising. Yeah, I was not exercising. I got oh. 200 squats to do tomorrow. And I was going to say I was going to jump rope, but that's false because I am going walking with my oh, mother. My uh, Gigi said, I just tell people I'll stop eating regular sugar. You're right. Exactly. Just, just, you know, like. I'm just telling I'm getting know. healthy. I'm like, man, I'm getting healthy. I know, right? Like, what are you talking about? See. Uh oh, let him calm down. He's having a million hypothetical conversations in his mind right now. If, if, if you know my family. Am I growing up? I said, we are very loud and outspoken on yeah, my side they of family. Got the so snaps. it's like, my family is like, we're loud and we'll cut you down and give you a hug right afterwards. <laughs> well, you be crying. But you, don't get good. <laughs> you be good there. We be like, we sorry. It's okay. You know, we were just you were, playing. You were stupid, though. You know, you were stupid. Yeah. Joe Ray said, like I tell my daughter, worry about yourself. You're right. Worry yeah. about yourself. Yeah, basically. As long as I'm not interfering in your lane, yeah. why are you in mine? Um, uh, oh, Shelly said, everyone in my work is super nosy too. Drives me crazy. Stay in your lane. You're right. Just stay you in can, your you lane. Can bring up stuff about them. Speaking of day. staying in your lane, let's talk about the title of tonight's video, which is what Sam's is Club that? versus Costco. Oh, so we movie. went to Just Sam's Club. Around. Yeah, we went to Sam's Club today and it reminded me like how trash both of them are separately, but how great they are together. You know, like it just POs me off that like each store has specific things that the other one does not have that would make you feel the need that you need memberships to both. If you don't know, no, Sam's true. Club, Costco, th those are those like bulk stores. We don't oh, have yeah. like a BJ's. Um, AD Keto has like a BJ's up where he is like wholesale. We don't have that. We only have Sam's Club and Costco here. And we so when I first when we first got the beauty salon, mm -hmm. we got a Sam's Club card because there is a Sam's Club really close to the beauty salon. That is true. Years later, they don't <laughs> they don't built a Costco a stone throw away like we can throw a rock, you know. So for our household, <laughs> it made sense to get a Costco card because it's like, wait a minute, we can go through these two stoplights and get to a Costco, you know. And so we did that. There are just things that each store doesn't have, you know, like in my opinion, Costco has the higher quality ingredients. Like they have the Kerrygold, they have the Lakanto, things like that. Uh -huh. But then, but there are just some things at, um, uh -huh. there are some things at Sam's Club that just Costco doesn't have. I was going to say, I was going to say, so annoyed. Sam's Club is more like a cross between like a Gordon's, like a yes. straight Yes, because it is also like a Sam's. restaurant survive, or, uh, provider place. Yeah. Like look what I bought at oh, Sam's Club. Gosh. Yes. No, we had a great time. They had Sam's Club had different things. They have like a, a whole entire candy aisle, which Costco's like, you're good. You're good. And like a whole chip side. It's just too different. But you know how the retail industry is. First like, of oh all, I Lord. got two things. Oh my lord. But like, look at her, okay? Look at these little Sargento snack bites, okay? Like all Costco has are like the just the regular cheese sticks. But Aren't these snack bites amazing? Colby and Monterey Jack? What is it? Fiesta Pepper Jack and Asadero? I don't even know what Asadero is. Like, you guys know I'm all about variety. So, like, why can I only buy these? I'm, I'm about, like, Jeez, curated right. yeah, variety. Yeah, 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 you know? So, it's just like, well, because, yeah, like, from Costco, I had to buy, like, 100 oh, sticks of, of the Cheddar yeah. Jack, you know? Where it's like, if I could just get little packs where I could choose what I wanted each day, like, oh, this yeah. is that's awesome. You. That you know? Was, that's perfect. That's a perfect. <laughs> then perfect. look what we bought. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. Okay. So, you guys, I was thinking about this because next week starts the oh, clean dear. eating challenge, Nicole Burgess. And everyone was like, just get plain pork rinds. And I was like, does Meyer even have those or whatever? And then I, re I saw that they had these. This was like $5.99. And, like, don't get me wrong. At the, like at Meyer, if I were to buy the equivalent of this, uh -huh. it would be eight dollars. So to be honest, it's not the best deal. But I looked at the ingredients and it says fried pork skins, salt. I can do that. That, that, that fits right within my yeah. That fits right within my clean 
ingredient situation. So I, uh, you know, so I went ahead and bought those. So I might be just eating some pork rinds next week. I know, right? Sam. I know. Well, I found a lot of stuff in Sam's. Oh I just didn't buy it all. So we'll see how much of a dent she puts in those pork grinds. Mm, no, we had a. It was it was really good, really good store. Yes, yes, it was. We had a really good stuff. I just appreciated how like it's the most wholesale places have like nothing in the single digit money. <laughs> yeah, like it's like everything's ten dollars plus. Like, yeah. Buy, so like, Rebecca, I was specifically thinking about you because we walked by like the pastry aisle section and they had this like variety box of pop tarts for like five eighty five, and I was like, see. Now, these are the Pop-Tarts I would buy because I don't want, don't get me wrong, I love cherry po- or strawberry Pop-Tarts, but I don't want to buy, like, yeah, well, and at the at Meijer, you only get, like, a pack of 12, and they're, like, $4, you know? Mm. So the fact that I can get a variety of 32 Pop-Tarts for, like, five eighty five, I was like, Vecina, I would buy those, you know? And so I really did think about that. But, yeah, they have a lot of, of good, you know, priced stuff there, mm-hmm. so... Yes, absolutely. Um, um, uh, Dana says Sam's 100% only because I don't have a Costco anywhere close to me. Yeah, I mean, we're just we're we're tortured enough to have both. So um, at least within what about 15, 20 minutes. Right? Um, Chris said not to derail you, but that pork rinds tub works perfectly for making the chocolate peanut butter keto chow muddy buddies recipe with pork rinds. Done and done. We were already thinking of uh, things to do with that tub. We were just like, oh, and we get this tub? Like, we pay $5.99 for the tub. You're telling me we pay $5.99 for this empty tub, oh but you're just going to fill it with pork rinds? And I love Muddy Buddies. And that, I mean, I'm just envisioning the powdery, dusty pork rind in my head already. And I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to need that recipe. Absolutely. Oh, no. Uh, Shelly says, I get to do a two-day colonoscopy prep in the middle of my next week. No food for me. Colonoscopy prep is the worst. I hate colonoscopy prep. I actually don't mind the colonoscopy itself because I'm under anesthesia, but the prep is the worst. It's like this cranberry water. Um, Dana said, oh, Autumn, no need to do those squats. Look at that booty. No, no. This is large Bottom. Mm. I need muscular bottom. This is all mm. fat. Here. Keto Dana. Who has to have a side ball over here? Side ball. Somebody help. Girl, Somebody you help. Ain't like, you ain't like. Oh my gosh. Ooh. All right, so, back to conversation, normal conversation. Oh, my gosh. Kathy said, oh, my heavenly money buddies. I know, right? Like, I can just see, I can envision them and touch them right now. I need that recipe. Yeah, so I'm excited about them. Um, Jennifer says, I get those pork rinds from Amazon. Exactly. Everything is everywhere. The world is flat. What is commerce? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, Joe Ray said, Richard, you sound like my husband. Your husband must, <laughs> must be ridiculous then, because mine sure uh, is. So. <laughs> Where's the lie? Hashtag where's the lie? Yes. Um, So today was a fasting day. However, I had coffee. You got, you know, like I'm just starting. I don't want to say I'm starting to rethink fasting, but I'm really being intuitive and just being like, hmm, do I want coffee? Like, even though it's my fasting day, Mm -hmm. like my 400 calorie coffee, it just doesn't make me feel like I'm failing at fasting. If anything, it's a modified well, alternate day fast there because there is actually a, a part of alternate. There's a method of alternate day fasting mm-hmm. where you eat up to 500 calories on your fasting day. And that still counts as a fast. And I was like, mm, that's a lot of calories. Wow. Yeah. But we'll just call it modified alternate day fasting. Mm-hmm. Although something that I have realized or something that I'm going to be like there thinking about. Are. Yeah. Is the reason I, I want coffee is because I'm cold. I just want to be warm, you know? So I'm like, do I need to be warm for 400 calories? Or maybe will like warm water oh help or something, God. you know? So it's just like, and I'm going to be, tea. yeah, like I'm going to be thinking about that the next couple of days. But I did, uh, well, the next couple of days are eating days and I'm very excited about yeah, that. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just going to be considering it as I move forward. So hopefully, you know, moving forward as the weather gets colder and, and during my fasting days, mm-hmm. I'm going to assess. Do I want coffee and calories or do I want a warm beverage? You know? So yeah, that's something that's going to do. Fruit juice. Um, uh, Constance said, Autumn, have you upped your Amazon store for prime day yet? What does that mean? Like, 
Like, um, up it up. Yeah, I don't. Man, I'm, up it to the max. Like you added products to it, not necessarily, but once again, if you click through any of my links to access Amazon, I will still get a commission on any purchases that you make for on Amazon. Mm. So, no, thanks, Constance, for reminding me. Please. If you are going to be ordering off Amazon during that day, um, you know, definitely come to uh, either on my website, there is a codes and links page, enter Amazon through that uh, page or come to any one of these videos. And I have a link in the description box. And as long as you go through Amazon through that store, I'll still get a commission on all the purchases made on anything there. So, yes. Prove the whack brain. Exactly. Um, uh, Chris said, I thought Richard was there to keep you warm. Did I miss something? You, I mean, honestly, Richard does a pretty good job, but uh, uh, random his, but no, but his, like his love is limits my mobility. Like I'll just be sitting here typing and he'll just come wrap his arms around me. And I'm just like, but I can't, now I can't move. Get off of me. You know, punches. exactly. So I appreciate it, but it's not really practical. You know what I'm talking about? Dana said, have you stopped eating your Jello? Haven't seen it in your videos in a while. I have legit stopped eating Jello. Wow. That's, but you know, that that's another thing I was thinking too, is the pickles. Remember we talked about that. I might put some pickles in the refrigerator and go to those as a snack wow. on my fasting days. But that also does not solve the I'm cold and want to be warm situation. So I got to think about that. Yes. Added products. No, I haven't added products in a while. I have added a fair amount of products, maybe like in a batch ad a couple of months ago. Um, But, you know, if you feel free, send me an email with stuff you love to buy from Mm -hmm. Amazon and I will be glad to add it to my store. Mm -hmm. Because once again, thank you so much. Just even, you know, doing something that you would normally do anyway, such as shop. Uh, at Amazon by going through my links. That really helps. So I appreciate nice. that. So. Um, yes. Uh, Mookie says, I have my coffee sometimes on fasting days, but I only use stevia and heavy cream. So no, that's the problem. I can't only use, like I can't make a non full version of my bulletproof coffee because uh-huh. I hate the way it tastes, you know? <laughs> so I, I have to use my collagen, my sweeteners, all my things. I got oh, to hashtag like full throttle. Coffee. Yeah, exactly. Because I can't make chocolate like a plainer coffee. version of that. Um, let's see. Yeah. Chris no, said, perfect no warm sweetness. beverage for fasting. Redmond seasoned salt uh, is the bomb.com. Mm, like salt water? Like a, some a coffee, a little cream. Do you know what I could sweetness. also do is like broth too. That would also help. And that's what? really low calorie. So I got to do that. You yes, what? Chris said mix it into the water. It's it's like chicken broth with no calories. Then it's so uh, I put Redmond seasoning salt on everything. That is Isn't a that great a idea. Oh, exactly. Sweet. I think that's Frank's Red Hot. Mm-hmm. But yes, do they um offer like discounts or affiliation? Who has a code with them? Like I would totally buy some off their oh, website. Nice. I don't have any season like any seasoning salt. Mm-hmm. Um, Dana said, do you know who uses your links? Amazon, uh, Amazon notifies you. No, I don't get a reporting on who uses those links. I do get reporting on what was bought with them. Um, just, you know, like zip fizz and things like that, but no, I don't get any user information. So, mm-hmm. um, oh, like Chris says, it. yeah, two crazy keto has a code. Okay. Good to know. There we go. Um, perfect. Yes. Beth said, I've been buying camper stuff and I've used your links. One was the super flex and I put in my cart and I was like, no, this is a lot of money. Go to Autumn's link. <laughs> Beth, thank you so much. Oh, you are officially oh the live gosh. favorite. You're just going out of your way to support me oh in any way that you can. I appreciate that so much. That's amazing. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Constance says two crazy keto has a code. Okay. I'll do that. Um, Chris said, so, so does keto chow, but despite how it looks, I really try not to self promote. (laughs) I mean, when you got something you love and it happens to resolve a lot of issues, just be like, Oh, you know, like get you, get you a warm beverage in the morning. Yeah, exactly. No, but that's, um, but that's calories. I'm trying to shy away from the calories. So, um, Vita says, hello, I fan missed you all been very busy. Yeah. I haven't said your name in a while. I'm glad you're here. Um, Dr. Watts says Goody Beats has a Redmond Real Sock holds that are uh, code. That's good. Nice. I do not watch Goody Beats videos. I hope he he and his family are doing well. So awesome. yeah. Um, that being said, we watched the latest episode of um Lovecraft Country during the day today. Good thing that we did. No spoilers. 
But did y'all watch that when them, when them fictional characters kept following that girl around? When I tell y'all that is literally my worst nightmare, like I was like, oh no. Like it this was the most one of the most disturbing episodes yet, just in terms of, of those characters always being there, you know? That just tapped into my personal oh hell no you know but it's just such a such a compelling show like i really really do love it so um yes uh cc says i use salt to butter my coffee yes i do as well i do add salt to my my coffee and it is delicious Mm. so it is it is good uh okay guys well i mean it is um (laughs) chris said you're not really selling this show very well i don't like shows like that you guys Literally, my best friends were like, how are you watching this show? Like, you hate scary stuff. And I was like, I don't know how I'm watching it either. Like, like mostly like this, and I have to look down and have to hold my tablet up in front of my face and be like, what's happening? What's happening? But then sometimes I just, I'll peek over and I'm just like, oh, what? Like, there are just so many WTF moments that I am compelled oh to God. watch. So, I mean... I, it's it's really the best, probably the best television show I've seen in 2020. Not saying a lot because like nothing has come out in 2020, you know. Mm. But I mean, this is just next level. Like, what am I watching? Like, in the best way possible. Oh, I, I absolutely loved it. Um, Cece said, "Watch the Social Dilemma on Netflix today." I watched that a couple of days ago. It didn't tell me anything that I didn't know, but it. You know, for people that aren't really socially like aware mm-hmm. of, of what is happening when they're looking at the devices, it is yes. eye opening. But also it just also Psychology. kept reframing it in a way of like they are like, here's what I'm telling you. If the platform is not if you're not buying any products, you are the product. That's basically what they said. So on Facebook, it costs nothing to scroll Facebook like it's free. It's not free. They are buying all of these corporations are paying Facebook to purchase your attention, you know, and that's what they're doing. Like, just like food companies are figuring out ways to like, how can we tinker with these chemicals to make this food more addictive to get you to buy it more ad companies? Uh, they're, they're tinkering with ads. What color should I make it? What font should I make it? Well, how, how should this ding sound, you know, like to get you to pay attention more to drive your behavior. Yeah. So yeah, it, I mean, it was just a really interesting way to put that. I already knew that, but I was like, gosh, when they're just laying it all out like that from the people who have worked at these companies and actually Developed well, these as tools. Much as we're different, it's an interesting way to really put it. Like what so, we like, and we're kind of all our buttons are kind of in the yeah. same place. <laughs> Chris said, "I'm a product now too." People used to tell me I'm a tool. That is so funny. You're so witty. Mm-hmm. I Can't appreciate you your humor so much. Um, okay, but with that being said, we're probably gonna watch some uh, Food Network till it's time for me to go to sleep. Cooking Channel. Cooking Channel is where it's at, you guys. I feel like Cooking Channel has become the new like MTV2. At this point, there's like MTV7. But you remember when they used to play music on MTV and then it became all reality shows? So they moved the music to like M- MTV2. Like that's all the Food Network has become. It's now it's just Diners, Drive-ins, and Dives and, and Chopped. So now like they've moved the cooking shows onto the cooking channel. But my sweetheart said he's watching Fargo. So we will not be watching any cooking shows. I'm just going to go to sleep, I guess. Because oh I'm not watching Fargo. Can't watch, I can't right? check in on the third season. Uh, just I you know, each season's independent. Yeah, it's an anthology, so yeah. maybe I'll watch it. It actually looks interesting, but you know, I don't know if I have the capacity to love something oh else right now. Gosh. That's all I'm saying. Everyone, have a great night. Thank you so much for joining yes. us here on Hashtag yes. Wag Wednesday. Don't forget, we go live every single morning at 9 o'clock over on my other channel, Watch Autumn Keto. The Watch You're Autumn. Watch Autumn. It. The link is in the description box below. I really should be mentioning mentioning that at the beginning of these videos and not 53 minutes in. Yeah. If you are still here 53 minutes in, go ahead and give me a hashtag long-winded uh, replay in the <laughs> comment box right now. Oh Thank God. you so much for sticking around, okay? So let me watch Fargo. We'll talk to exactly. Back to Fargo. We'll mm-hmm. talk to you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye! Bye!